Sometimes talking with friends feels like role playing. Sometimes it feels like combat. Join us at the round table and roll initiative. This is Commudgeons and Dragons. Hello, adventurers! Welcome to Commudgeons and Dragons. I'm Jason Portizo. I am joined live by Jim Crocker <laughs> All on right. this episode of Commercial and Dragons Live. This is the last day he gets to use that uh, that, that joke. It only took me five episodes to train you to do that, yeah. so so that's good. I'm hate, really glad to be here. I hate being receptive that's to training. That's cool, yeah. Josie Diaz is with me. Hi. And by with us, I mean she's very far away in England, but, uh, but coming to us live over Riverside. With I'm here in the ways in, that matter. In sure. spirit. She's yes. with us in spirit and digitally. Could you imagine and, if and I could I'm, just haunt you at this level all the time? You haunt me <laughs> all the time. You do me. haunt me all the time. Uh, our, yeah, but not to this extent. Story today is coming from our guest, Mike Cortese. Mike, how you doing? Doing pretty good. How are we all doing? I'm listen. This is our fifth episode we're recording in a row. We're doing fantastic. Living the fucking dream, <laughs> my so, guy. Living something. <laughs> we love having guests. Living the though. dream, that's, surviving the nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Something there like you that. go. Having guests that. is one of our favorite things. So, yeah. so that's great. This is this is usually not like a guest having type of show, but to have so many this month has, yeah. has been great. So, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, thanks for submitting uh, what seems to be a completely batshit story that I cannot <laughs> wait to get into. Uh, I'm so ready. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, real quick, I, I I met you through the uh, one of the Facebook groups. I believe I met you through uh, New Jersey D and D players. Um, yes, so I seems, believe so. Seems to be a pretty good and active group. So, uh, any other any other locals want to join that? Uh, which is also. I was where, wondering why we were getting so many people from New Jersey because I because that was the group <laughs> that responded to me. Way way back in the day, Jason posted a message to that group saying, "Hey, we're losing someone from our podcast. Anybody might be interested." And that was how, I, how I, found I ended up on the show. I so yeah, forgot about that from part. that group. Yeah. Uh, also, how I found out about uh, The Keep, which is where we are recording mm-hmm. from right now. This is yeah. uh, uh, go to thekeephobby.com and support uh, my friendly local game store because they are supporting us by giving us space to record today. So thank you to our friends of The Keep. Uh, you can yeah. go back and listen to the first two episodes this month where we had uh, Tony, the owner. Uh, not only giving his story, but giving his uh, well, his, you know, his his D and D story, and then his story, yeah, uh, about owning stores and stuff like that. Really cool episode. So uh, make sure you go check those out. But today we've got Mike with us. Um, so I, you sent me the kind of like the TLDR, which was still like seven paragraphs, <laughs> um, and it just got wilder and wilder to the point where uh, one of your other players, uh, your friend Andrew also dm'd me to say that whatever story you told me as as wild as it is is 100 percent true so i yes. have to hear the rest of this and um uh, so i'm just gonna i'm gonna back off i'm gonna let you just kind of take it away so uh mike the floor is yours all right uh what was it this was probably back in september ish of last year there was a message on the same group that you and i uh, found each other on that an individual was looking to run a 5e homebrew campaign uh looking for players so i signed up uh the person that dm'd you andrew signed up and a few other people signed up (laughs) cool we're all set to play a few weeks before playing um yeah we all get together on the on the thing and we're talking and he sends out a 17 page pdf (laughs) on his world (laughs) okay okay (laughs) i like it that's dedication, <laughs> but also like, start. oh yeah. my god! It it is dedication, and if, if it's a strange world, hey, it could be, yeah, okay. it, it could be legit yeah. that this is yeah. going to be interesting. Also, I've seen and heard of longer, so like, but that is like that's that's not light um, reading. So no, um, so the PDF included, but not limited to uh, certain rules that he was going to be using, such as a new monetary system using pieces of eight rather than tens. <laughs> A new calendar, which had six days rather than seven, not even the 10 day that d d <laughs> is known for. Okay. Um, a list of weapons, all of which did the exact same damage with the exact same uh, damage type. No. Oh. Everything was exact. Um, it, there was no change. It was just the change of the names of the weapons. Sure. Such as like um, uh, pistols, using a Beretta, using a, a nine mil, using... Different stuff. All the same th- uh, damage type. All okay, the same. And, and, fi- and firearms on top of that, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, firearms and, and whatever else. Uh, all sorts of different stuff. He had a list of 
the items that were purchasable in game. He had a list of magic items available in the game, whereas he didn't even know what some of these did. Okay. Um, and they were all available for purchase whenever you got to a town. There's the magic store just had portals that you could get stuff from and pick it out. Weird stuff. Okay. I'm sure they'll end up fine. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so a bunch of level two is so, getting a deck like, of many things. So this okay. 17 page PDF was just interesting reading. Nothing really came of that. Okay. Session zero comes in and he dis- he tells us it's a kind of a 5e based game, but it's going to use mechanics from 3.5, Pathfinder 2e, and 5e. So he's just built a new game and was like, come play. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Th- that's okay. exactly, ha- that's exactly how it is. That's exactly how it turns Which, out. But you know what? Jeez. Great. Go ahead. Like design your, design your own game. Love it. I'm sure Jim would play it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, uh, some of these yeah. mechanics, um, none of uh, so background on it, all of the players that came into this have never played 3.5 or Pathfinder. We're all relatively new to D and D five E Coming from around 2019, we all started well, to, right before. To Rona. be fair, 3.5 and Pathfinder are the same thing. So, still. yeah. Okay. Again, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> I haven't played either one of those, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the, the TLDR on that is that Pathfinder yeah. was a uh, a response to Fourth Edition, and was uh, okay. uh, essentially kind of a rewrite of 3.5 with a couple things that were made a little crunchier. And that hardcore Pathfinder players will get cranky if you say, it's just 3.5. Oh, yeah, yeah. They Which is <laughs> the, most, the most important part of this yes, whole thing, yeah. yeah. So uh, then I'm guessing you guys are already familiar with a fortitude save that he wanted to put in place combined with constitution saves, like an additional saving throw that he would use with other things. Oh, in addition? In addition. Okay. So you had your con save, and then you would have a fortitude save, okay. which had a different... Um, a different mechanic for calculating that using your constitution mod. Yeah, because in 3.5, you would have fortitude, reflex, and will saves uh, as, right. opposed to, as opposed to just rolling on the stats, which is the thing that makes the most sense. Sure. Yeah. Right. So he wanted to implement that as an additional saving throw. Oh, my God. He also had different calculations for your AC, whereas he would, um, on his armors, he just made different armors have different modifiers then you would add 10 and that's your ac bonus and instead of the traditional 5e uh disadvantage on stealths you would have a movement penalty if you weren't proficient okay which did not make sense to us as you're not supposed to use armors that you're not proficient (laughs) i i'm already i would have been out of this game (laughs) i've been like i'm so sorry i'm too stupid to play too stupid to play this (laughs) So he, um, again, in this list that he had in his PDF, he had the different armors listed. You, uh, this armor has a plus one. This armor has a plus two, all the way up to like a plus nine for your AC. So the calculation was 10 plus whatever the armor modifier was. That's your base AC. And again, these were all purchasable at a shop. Uh, the strange things really started to take place during the campaign. In the throes of the campaign, we had some interactions with uh, with NPCs that my character as the irate asshole, yes, I was the problem player, um, started calling this guy a, a different name in a, um, in a way and kind of made the DM turn him into like a mafia don. <laughs> okay. So far I'm in. So eventually this mafia don became a benefactor and allowed us to purchase, go to the stores and purchase things at his expense, not ours. Okay. So basically, we got the run of the mill of every magic item we wanted, every yep. armor we wanted, everything. Yep. Within the first three sessions. Mm. Okay. So what did you, <laughs> you end up with? Uh, I I was playing a uh, an artificer, so I ended up with like a, a nineteen AC. A nine, uh, plus nine armor, then with all the uh, infu- um I'm sorry, what is the artif- artificer thing? Infusions, Infusions yeah. yeah. It is infusion. Yeah. Uh, ended up with like an AC of like 21, 22, somewhere around there cool. at, at level, level three. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
what had the fuck? we had rings of invisibility. We had yeah. all sorts of stuff, and yeah. he had no idea where this stuff was. It's like he had never played five E before, or even read the DMG. Probably didn't. Probably not. Um, well, the DMG so yeah, we, wouldn't help if he's building it out of three different games. Oh well, yeah, true. You got to read three of the DMGs okay, for that true, one. But <laughs> it, it would still give you a basis on what these magic items are supposed to oh do. My God. <laughs> okay. But initially, we were supposed to have five PCs. Myself, um, the uh, one who messaged you, Andrew. Um, we had Bill, CJ, and then there was supposed to be Kate. Kate, for whatever reason, backed out last minute. But uh, uh, due to uh, she was unable to uh, commit to playing, but would still end up showing up every now and then on this on the Discord that we were playing on. Hmm. Just, just to hang out. Just like a lurker. We love a lurker. Yeah. A lurker and having her camera on still as well. <laughs> okay. I'm picturing that happening in like an IRL game. Like someone's like, yeah, I can't make it tonight. And then they just show up at your house and just watch you play. Sit down at the table, <laughs> just watch. Yeah, it was it was definitely weird because she would come in at strange times and you hear the the Discord ding, ba ding, and mm-hmm. there she is. Well, hi. Um, and she wouldn't mute herself either. So oh. whatever she's got going on in the background, yeah. um, children screaming, her driving her car, having Ooh. almost an upskirt view of underneath the steering wheel <laughs> while she's driving down the road. Very distracting. Very I distracting mean, of this. At that point, just listen to an actual play podcast. You don't have to you don't have to <laughs> yeah. subject people to the going abouts of your life. Yeah. He had uh, the DM had um, you know spoken to us about our what our characters are you know the individual session zeros along with the session zero for all the PCs. Apparently, over the course of his with another one of the players, the DM decided to give one of the PCs a strange colored birthmark without telling the PC what it was about or anything about it. Mm-hmm. And then, when it came time for him to describe his character. The DM said that there was someone with a birthmark, and uh, when the PC did not respond, that's your cue, dude. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, you got this birthmark now. It's like, well, yeah. if it's a birthmark, shouldn't um, I know about it? Right. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Less of a birthmark and more of the last five minutes, Mark. Like, if it's, <laughs> on, if it's on your back... In you know, in, with like D and D technology, you would never see it. You would only have to take people's word for it that it was there, right? Yeah. So, that's was what it on his read I, I honestly was don't remember where it was. <laughs> I, I honestly, I think it may have been on his neck, oh like like God. something like right over here, yeah, okay. or something. I I can't quite remember. But that that's not the egregious one. The egregious one is where he changes a PC's race Ooh. prior to a session. Just for what? from a like, like, from so, a human to a damn fear. So like uh, but, mid, ahead, mid mid game or before you started playing. Um, mid game. Oh, okay. Did he have did he have an explanation or was he just hoping you were going to roll with it? He had an explanation for it, but this happened to a PC who um was brand new to the game, had never played before no. our set, our first session and missed um, all sessions in between. So it was only their second ever session. What the fuck? And okay. apparently they did have a conversation about it, but the DM did not tell this, this person what it meant for their character, what abilities they would have, right. anything about it. That's a major change. Just too. expected him to know. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, please so, continue. <laughs> uh, are you impressed yet, Josie? I am <laughs> flabbergasted. I am unraveling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yep. Uh, strange color birthmark. Uh, human to a damn fear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you have a, a list of all of the horrific things. I had things. to. What's I had next? to do something. Yeah. Oh my Otherwise, god. Otherwise, they would just be all over the place. I think that's the list you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I made bullet points of everything that I told you, but there's more to it. Oh, my God. Um, For whatever reason, and I still don't understand this, he wanted the cleric of the party to either choose religion or medicine as their base of healing. 
Like he wanted to change up the uh, the cleric class. Just put his own spin on things. Yeah, put his own spin on things. If it ain't broke, my guy. <laughs> oh, he he broke everything. Oh my god. Okay. All right. But things are so Sorry. broken, you have to break other things that they work in this new broken system, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be it. Um, we there was an entire session that was a shopping day. Um, now I'm out. It was oh my just God, RP Jason's and shopping. There was a little bit of RP, but oh, not very much. Worst. It was just a shopping day. Uh, Listen, I don't mind like five minutes of like trying to talk to a shopkeep if the shopkeep's interesting, but this is why I hate shopping. Yeah, man, you and I are on so much on the same page I can on get that done one. Between sessions, I, oh, I am Lord. well on record hating shopping in game. And uh, and this is why, because it turns through a whole fucking day. And let me guess, most of that time was spent with them haggling and not getting anywhere? No, most of the time was him looking at his notes, finding out how much everything cost. We had a bad shopping trip and it wasn't the player's fault? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. He, yeah. he had a notebook and he showed multiple times on screen, you know, a notebook entirely that thick of all of his notes of every shop, everything, everywhere alphabetized different menus different things of how much everything cost to the point where when an npc we were going into a coliseum and he described that there were vendors up and down the sides of the street entering the coliseum saying that there were food vendors an npc asked what do they serve he took five minutes outside of game to go and find to the notes specific <laughs> as to find out what they were selling and how much it cost. <laughs> to answer his own question. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. No, no, no. The, uh, I'm sorry. The, the PC asked this. Oh, okay. Not right. an NPC. Okay. A PC it's still asked ridiculous, this. but that would have been... That yes, been... still ridiculous right. to find out, you know, take 10, five, five, five or 10 minutes, whatever it took for him to find these in his notes. Yeah, if you're going to have... um a binder full of your new game to play, you should probably have some tabs to make it a little easier for yourself. Right. <laughs> imagine you th imagine taking like think. five five whole minutes flipping through pages just to be like, be like, uh, yeah, they have falafel today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty well, much. I mean, was, was it that or was it like, well, this vendor has falafel, which you can order in three sizes. You can get it with or without tzatziki sauce. You can get it with fries or without steak fries Gotta or seasoned fries. Sauce. Like, was it I that think Jim kind has of thing? Like, That's actually what yeah, he was trying to do. granular that's, level of detail. That's, yeah. yeah. That's so yeah. much. He did yeah, like, so much work. <laughs> this, like, he did. At, he at, did so much work. At, at what <laughs> point so does... Stressed. At what point does prep turn into mental illness, I think, is the question... That we're trying. This is the line Brought we're trying to, you trying to figure by out here. Better help. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, see our last episode about the importance of keeping your mental health thoughts in the game. <laughs> so, so here's here's Mike. Here's what I'm curious about. Like, there must have been something compelling about the game that kept you playing through all of this, or was it just like like it hit that tipping point where you're like. I just, we got to stick around just to see what happens next. Like, like sunk cost fallacy, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Well, or well, I, no, I, I or like, it, like, like watching the, like, like not being able to look away from the train wreck kind of thing. I, I think it's a little bit of not being able to wa walk away from the train wreck and find out what there's got to be something to this story. Yeah. Right? And oh, th this, a, a third this, part of it. All this is, has to lead somewhere. If he's doing this. For the falafel stand, imagine when we <laughs> get to the big battle, what it's going to be like. That's yeah. Uh, imagine, right. imagine how and, crunchy and, and granular that battle will be. <laughs> and not to mention that I was, um, I think I was just coming off being a DM in a campaign, and I just wanted to play as a as a PC sure, for a little while. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and having the idea of my PC um, imbued into my head just stamps right in there, and I love the character. I just wanted to continue playing you that couldn't, character. Yeah. Couldn't he give was it up. Fun. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, this is this is where it really starts to get batshit crazy with this spectator. <laughs> so, is this the same spectator or is this a new spectator? No, the same spectator okay. from okay. before. Okay, okay. So I mentioned that she would pop in at strange times. You know, leave the mic on, leave the camera on. So. Right after session four, the day after our fourth session, uh, she comes into our Discord uh, text chat and says that 
um, she and the DM have gotten messages about foul language use in the Discord. Now, here's 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 a quick thing about that. We were not using uh, what the hell is it? We we were yeah, on a video. Chat. We were on a video call very similar to what we are now. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we were not in a we were not in a server. We were in a in a video voice oh, just chat, like a like a. Like a room, like, like a, a breakout DM. room, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just we were in a group DM voice video chat. Okay, but inside so Discord. Or? She, yes, we were in Discord. Okay. Um, and she, uh, this person claims that they had gotten a message about foul language use, saying that if it were to continue, we would all get a ban. Yeah, I've now, I've, I've, I've been in Discord servers before. That's not true. <laughs> Discord wouldn't exist. We were not. We were not in a server. Sure, we were so just in. Okay. So, uh, Josie, I know your next question, and you're like, "Well, how is that possible?" It is not. Okay, <laughs> just I'm just making sure I'm not the crazy one. No, you're not the crazy one. Okay. So, and and she kept with this. So over, uh, we played every two weeks when we were playing. Um. So over the course of the two weeks, I do my research and I find out that her, what is spewing from her craw is absolute horse shit. And I completely plan out on calling her bullshit out the next session whenever she was in. So the next session comes in. She's not there. Um, and I have the good graces of the rest of the PCs, you know, because we're all talking back and forth throughout the whole time saying we all know this is bullshit. So we talk to the DM and we say, all right, we come to it. We, we have a 15 minute civilized discussion. So for next time, uh, for this session, we will do as she asks. But for next session, we will build our own server, set it to age appropriate so that there is no thing that can go wrong so that yeah. we can do, we can play as we want. Go. That's it. That's what we'll do. The DM starts his his recap of the previous session, and she comes in. She says to us, now, we are all grown adults in this game. <laughs> grown We are ass all adults. grown adults of at <laughs> least 29 years old and up. She says to us she's not going to be in, but she's going to be monitoring us for her foul language. If she finds any or hears any, is going to take us aside and talk to us about it. And if it continues after that, is going to put us in a time out and immediately leaves the chat. Oh, suck my dick. Oh my God. <laughs> For a game oh, she's we not flip playing. fucking shit. Yeah. We flip shit. Coming in to that and telling us that bullshit, no, we're done with you. So we take a 10 minute break to cool off. And I have a separate server that I have played um on for other you know D, &D playthroughs before so i send everyone minus her an invite so that we can play in mine not have to deal with her fucking bullshit and we can play as we want cool everything's hunky dory we get in now on the previous session we knew we were going to be accosted we were on a ship that was being uh, bombarded by other people. So we knew immediately we were going to be in combat. So that's the first thing that happens is we get into combat. It's seven on four. Not bad odds. Okay. Two rounds in, he brings in other NPCs that are of significantly higher CR rating. We have, we probably have a combined total of around a hundred hit points ish. Each one of these new ones has at least a hundred each. Sure. So he had he had this on our <laughs> Albert Rodeo. So and he had their hit points listed, so we could see what they were using. And I, uh, so we knew, uh, yeah, we we saw their hit points and we knew what was going on. I knew where this character class was coming from because I tried to help him develop a character class for what was going on, what he wanted to do in here. So I knew exactly where these were coming from. And I knew that they were at least level 12, whereas we were level three. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So. But for why? Why was, what was the point of that? Hang on. I'm getting okay. to it. <laughs> <laughs> so only a couple rounds of combat in 
everyone's dead. My character has one hit point, jumps off the front of the boat, flips off the middle finger, and away we go. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Into the drink. Because he TPK'd us and ends the campaign. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's, Hang that's on, the, it gets that worse. Was, that was the point. <laughs> it's already over. It was okay. New Year's Eve. What the f- Okay. <laughs> It Happy was New Year's e- New Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new Year, new yeah. campaign. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he asked God. me as I was the last one in the Discord if I would like to play again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. What'd you, what'd you say? Maybe. Oh, that's oh my fantastic. God. I would like this game to continue so we can get more content out of it. Each of each of these <laughs> each of these individually could have been an episode. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm still trying to process all of this info. He put so much work into into world building to such an extreme level, only to be like, eh, and, now you're all dead. And system creation. Don't forget that part. Yeah. <laughs> he built a new Five type of game. Sessions. Five sessions. Five sessions. That was only That's in five? It. Wow. Five. That's impressive for five. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot of horror. So yeah. not uh, a lot of time. So I know no. you, you got you got your you got your, your cheat sheet in front of you. So we've got a um a uh, a very long backstory, um, or a very very long like like world building uh required reading PDF document. Lots of world building is great. Required reading uh multiple page document. Stop. Um a hundred percent. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. Say, <laughs> I'll skim it maybe. What's that? And then uh, I'll Duke, be like, wait, I don't understand. Is that Duke Nukem? He's like, oh, that's a lot of words. Yeah. Too bad I'm not reading them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah you, you get one paragraph and done. Yeah. That's I'll give it. you I'll give yeah. you a page. Yeah. Uh and if it's great front and back yeah. <laughs> um so uh that's that's number one uh then we got uh a a mishmash of lots of different systems uh guarantee taking the worst of each one yeah okay uh we got uh charts and graphs uh filling up entire binders that you can't sort through um every every item available to you at all times whether or not you deserve it uh, completely breaking everything, uh, which is fine because he didn't read the rules and uh, doesn't know how bad they actually are for the game. Um, weapons that are all redundant. Uh, and that's just the game itself. Then we got a, uh, I'm not even going to say a player. She didn't even play. Just a nuisance. Just so, someone just to come in. And, like, just, just a hall monitor that wanted to show up. A troll. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. literally yeah. just somebody to come in and be like, me, 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 me. Yep. Unfortunately, she wasn't random. She was supposed to be the uh, the DM's girlfriend. <laughs> Well, that explains how we got. Uh, that, explains, <sighs> that explains a lot, actually. Yeah, that actually I, kind of explains for me why the campaign ended after you were like, "Let's move away yeah. from her." Uh-huh. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Why, um, why he blew it up at that point? Yeah, I mm-hmm. didn't want to assume that was the case, but like the whole time, I'm thinking that's got to be the case. Yeah, yeah, that was my first question: was Were they in cahoots? Or yeah. oh, yes, they were in cahoots. They absolutely okay. were. Okay, she she wanted a she wanted like a squeaky clean server, and couldn't get it. Yep. So, yeah. No, she was not going to get it with me. Yeah, no, that's, and not that's my character. bananas. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, so luckily, that game is far is well, well over by this point. Uh, oh yeah, well are, over. Are you, are you in better games now? Um, actually, I am DMing um, a Lost Mine of Fendelver campaign nice. for the other PCs that were in that group, along with a few others, that's, and we are having a fantastic, awesome. fantastic ending yeah. to the story. Yeah, the, giving giving them a good campaign. One of the morals of the story is that if if you want to be assured of a good game, you run it yourself. Yeah. that's yes. Uh, <laughs> and and, and, and that was one thing that I told them. I did not want, uh, as I said, one of the PCs in that had only played two sessions. Yeah, ever. Well, yeah, I you did don't not want that. Want to that be your changed own. on them. Yeah. Right, yeah. your only experience. Imagine waking yeah. up in the morning and you're just a lizard person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and Lost Minds is is such a good one for new players too. Yeah. that's uh, that that oh, worked yeah. out really well. Yeah. Um, yeah, this story is absolutely nuts. Um, and like, um, uh, yeah, it's absolutely delivered. So you they, forgot the worst part though, which was, was that, that they did a full session shopping montage. Oh. I because I blocked it from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> a full session of oh, shopping. Oh god. Oh, that's yeah. I, yeah. I, I blocked that out. That was uh, that. That was a trauma I'm, block. I'm still stunned. <laughs> Honestly, good for you. You put up with a lot of shit. 
I don't know how. I just did. I just wanted to play my character because I thought he was, he was fucking cool. Mike, when you got to the end I and mean, said it was only five sessions for all of that, that was – they packed a lot yeah. of bad into – a very a little compact bit of amount of time. It's yes. the, it's yeah, the horror story speed run. Sort of a yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that 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 the, the horror story speed run. Yeah, yeah. that's the good way yeah. to look right, at cool. it. That's our title. Um, <laughs> uh, the the character that you that you kept it. You, you said you you stuck around because you enjoyed your character. Uh, is that yes. character uh, involved in your in your current game? Um, possibly an NPC no, or DMPC? Not currently. Okay. Um, He's Although saved he, somewhere. He is saved. Right. That character will make an appearance somewhere and has made an appearance somewhere as um, uh, one of the PCs in the campaign that I'm running um, for a one-shot DM'd something for me and another player and brought that character to life cool. in that in the, uh, in that one shot. We'll make sure that character is okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that character is great. great. He survived hell. He's got to stay alive. <laughs> Off the starboard bow, you see someone clinging to a piece of driftwood. He seems to be giving the sun, uh, giving the sun a finger. Uh, <laughs> he's swearing at the sharks that are sw- swimming around him. <laughs> Mike, thanks so much for your story, man. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks for listening. Um, uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Uh, and thanks for actually responding to uh, to my call for stories. Uh, I'm going to throw this out there. I, I couldn't uh, let that one pass up. Oh, yeah. I could not let that yeah. one pass and, up. And I'm a, so glad you didn't. Yeah. What a story to wrap the month up on. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to throw this out there to anybody who wants to uh, come on and tell their story or at least just send us their story. We can read it for you if you're uh, if you're camera shy. And that's cool, too. But uh, Yeah, I love up. to be performative. Go uh, go reach out to us. Uh, Curmudgeons and Dragons pod at gmail.com is how to reach out to us. Uh, everything we do is on Curmudgeons and Dragons.com. Um, Mike, anything? Uh, are, are you doing anything? You plug anything or... Uh, or just uh, um, I don't do anything. I, I just have some of my fans, uh, some of the stuff that I'm into, um, D and D related. Nad Pod, if that's allowed, or Big Pod uh, fan. Dungeon Run. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Dungeon Run. I'm not familiar with, but Nad Pod I listen to uh, daily. So, Michael, thank you so much. Uh, Jim Josie, as always, thank you so the guys so much for being yeah, on the show with course. me and keeping this thing going. And thank you, adventurers. Thank you for listening to Commutions and Dragons. Please share this with your favorite adventurers. Leave a review on Apple and follow us on social media. All links can be found at curmudgeonsanddragons.com. Practice safe adventuring, my friends.